So now Torrey Smith going after Patriots fans like crazy, albeit the Patriots lead in the wins to loss department seven to three. So we have a few screenshots, Bert, his tweets. We have all those pictures. I will read right now and then we will get Ben Heisler's take. Uh, tweet number one, he retweeted at M Ballsley. Okay. If you had to pick a hockey team, uh, who are you cheering for tonight, Boston or Chicago? Chicago. I hate everything about New England except Kevin Garnett. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Tweet number two. I understand that every fan base has bad fans. What I'm saying is New England fans have more than others and think they are better than everyone else. Tweet number three. He owns up to it. I love this. Yeah, I said it. All right. God bless. Tweet number four. As much as I dislike most of the fan base, I can honestly say that I respect the coaches and ownership. All right. So he's he, he's he's giving his take on the Patriots. Tweet number five. OK, I'm done starting stuff before I get a phone call from our organization. Ha ha. No apologies. I meant what I said. Owning up to it again. I love that. And then one person tweets at him. Cordy X9 says we are better than everybody else at Torrey Smith wide receiver. And then he goes, OK, shaking my head. Tweet number seven. A few guys tweeted him. Uh, one guy, Steve Mack, says you're a gigantic douchebag and a no good thug. <laughs> Oh, really? A thug. Now, the Ravens play the Patriots December 22nd in Foxborough. Uh, should be a hell of a game there. I'm sure he will hear it. However, now, are the Patriots fans the worst in the NFL? Do they come worse than them? I'm not. I'm, I'm just asking you. I have not had any true interactions with them except for one kid that we went to college with. I'm going to leave him nameless. Uh, however, are, I mean, are they are they the worst fans? Does Torrey Smith have a case here? No. No, the, the worst fans are the fans that don't show up to games and don't support their team. So based on this conversation, I'm going to go ahead and say the Jacksonville Jaguar fans are the worst fans in football because nobody shows up to see the game. And granted, this is in a league where if you don't show up to the game, locally it's going to be blacked out. And then if you're sitting at home wanting to watch your Jacksonville Jaguars on TV, you can't do it. You can't even fill up a stadium to 75% capacity. Uh, no, Patriot fans are fine. It, 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 I don't know what, he, what, what he's trying to ultimately accomplish by saying that. Is it trying to get some sort of rivalry going on between Baltimore and the New England area? If he is, fine. You know, I, I guess good for him to try and get something started like that. But they show up. They've been showing up for a long time. They've been incredibly supportive and they're passionate. They're, they're knowledgeable fans. So, no, I don't agree with Torrey Smith at all. Okay, now here's my take on it. If you look at it on the flip side, he could not have simply answered the tweet, but I, I, I appreciate his truthfulness in this. Or he could have said, uh, uh, you know, I'm not watching. Or he could have said, Chicago, I really like Jonathan Taze or what have you. He could have dropped some player's name and that would have been it. However, it just adds more to the rivalry. And I love that. And we're not, like, I, I, I'm going to be straightforward. We are not criticizing Torrey Smith. I am not criticizing Torrey Smith because you know what? I love the fact that they hate each other. When we see it in baseball all the time, and uh, I mean, Ben works for MLB Sirius XM Radio. We see it all the time where guys during the pregame are hugging each other. Uh, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're kissing each other on the cheek. They're telling stories to each other. They're laughing with each other. No, fuck that. Add a rivalry to it. Be hateful towards each other. I want to see some old school football. You're going to see old school football, and if by old school football you mean guys knocking the shit out of each other, it's still going to happen because it's the NFL, right? I mean, that's, that's not going to change. Guys still want to win games, but if you have a mutual respect for you know the team that you're playing against, I don't think that's a big deal. Play the game hard, play the game right, and make it interesting for me as a fan watching that game. That's all I really care about. It. Tori says, yeah, the, the, I don't like New England fans. I don't care. Like, you know what? It, it, it's good for him. If he wants to try and start something off with a lot of the meatballs on Twitter, you know, good for him. But it, I don't think that's going to change how he feels about you know the organization and whether or not you know you're going to have Tom Brady give him a shove next time he sees him going, hey man, what the fuck? That's not going to happen. So if he wants to go ahead and try and start something out of nothing, yeah, that's that's fine. I yeah, I appreciate the honesty. It's good to have honesty from from people and people that are transparent on Twitter. Good for them that aren't going to give the same soundbite, you know, take it one game at a time type answer. I like to see that, but as far as trying to start some sort of fight on Twitter and then pretend like I'm backing out of it, eh, it's just kind of silly to me. Uh, I mean, I think I think uh, Ravens fans simply love Torrey Smith after this, so uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, However, he helped him win the Super Bowl, so it's pretty easy to like him. Exactly.